Hey, we are back and today it's going to be an easy, cheap try on haul from Walmart. I went on walmart.com and I found a bunch of cheap dresses. I bought some cheaper dresses because this has been like what I've been wearing. A Eagles championship, a Super Bowl shirt that they didn't even win and some Christmas pants. It's been like my wardrobe for way too long now. I am ready to actually have some nice things. And I've noticed in my videos as I'm editing them that some of my shirts are rather tight around the midsection. Since I took my break off of YouTube, I did gain a little bit of weight. I still do have hormone problems. They still are not solved. So I did gain some weight from that. And I've just noticed the tightness of my shirts around my midsection. So I figured some new dresses were going to happen eventually anyway. So I did buy some. Since it's spring, summer's coming up. I went with dresses over shirts and pants because that's normally what I live in at this time. So I picked up five of them. I believe they're all the same brand. No boundaries. That's always a cheap brand to get from Walmart. So I picked up five, five different patterns, five different styles. And we're going to see if any of these fit. I hope that they do. I bought all smalls except for one. One is a medium in case the smalls were too small. I am terrible at returning anything. So if they are too small or they do not fit right, they will be going in a donation bag in the back of my car. Um, and maybe I'll get the next size up if I really do like it. But either way, let's start this try on haul. I think I'm going to start with a black one because somehow I ended up with two black ones. I tried to get like a bunch of different colors, but I guess I did not. This black one is a small, maybe it says, it doesn't say how much it was on the tag. These were like, I said 12, but I believe they were like 1235 or something like that. Very soft. They're always really soft. That's why I do like these dresses. I think I own a few no boundary dresses already. So let's put this on. Okay, I actually don't hate this dress. And now I'm a little worried because I think the small fits me, how the medium is gonna look. I still left the tags on just in case it didn't fit me nicely. Then whoever buys it from the donation place will um, get a brand new dress with tags. But I don't hate this one at all. I feel like it's long enough that I could go work in the garden and like nothing is going to be out. But it's also short enough that I'm not going to sweat all summer. It has like a tight piece here. And then it does have more, more stitching right here to make it tighter right here and tighter down here. I love it. I do not hate this at all. I also wanted to get dresses that I was not going to look 12 in because I still get kids menus when we go out to eat. Insane, I cannot believe I'm about to be 31 and I still get kids menus, but I also don't think I get kids menus because I look young. I think I get kids menus because my daughter is now taller than me. So it's kind of confusing to be like, well, who's the mom? So they just offer three kids menus, I feel like no matter what, so that they don't offend anybody. I have no idea. But I think that's the reason why I get kids menus and not so much because I look young. So this one for me is probably an 8 out of 10. It's not my favorite, but I do love it and I will wear it and keep it. Let's go with a totally different... I would say totally different like thing, but this also has flowers and this has flowers. So really, this isn't that different. It is a different style though. I must like a flower pattern when I look at clothes. Let's try this one on. Do you hear my cat crying? That's because he wants attention. Uh, this one I actually like better than that one. And for the record, guys, I am not actively trying to lose weight. So I am not actively trying to lose the gut I do have. I am trying to find clothes that make me feel good with it. Because I have tried to lose weight before since my hormone issues have started. And nothing has really worked. Nothing has really helped. I've just starved myself and worked out way too much. So I am now no longer actively trying to lose the gut. I'm trying to figure out the hormones first and then the weight second. Hopefully when I figure out the hormones, the weight will kind of go with it. So I just want clothes that I feel good in now, not when I lose weight. So this one I actually like better than the black one. I think the cut's a lot nicer. It's tight up here, but then down here it's all flowy. There's nothing really tight around the gut area or anything like that. 
it does have a pattern in the back. I don't know what you would call that. Would you call it lace? It's not really lace though. I don't know what you would call it, but I do love the pattern in the back. I think on really hot days, that's gonna help, especially having long hair. Having a little bit of a cut back there will help with the airflow. I do love the cut around the top. I think that that looks really pretty. And I'm sure if you guys carry weight around the stomach area like I do, you would know getting cuts like this is hard sometimes because of a gut. But this one I think is high enough that I don't think the gut really, uh, really shows with it too much. And there is padding in the top area, but it's not really thick, so I don't feel like I would sweat in it. And being almost 31 with two kids, I do not mind a little bit of padding um, in the top. Because I was not blessed with things that other women are when they have kids, which is absolutely fine to each their own. Everybody's body is different. But I was not, so I don't mind a little bit of padding in the top. I think it looks really, really cute and really good. So this one, I would probably give a 9 out of 10. That black one was an 8 out of 10. Let's go with this yellow daisy one next. Not daisy, it's sunflowers. It's clearly sunflowers. Let's go with the sunflower one next. I guess we're keeping on. I think all of these have a flower pattern now that I'm looking at it. I must have really liked that pattern. And if you and if you guys do like any of these dresses, know that every dress comes in different colors and every dress is, all the dresses come in different sizes. So if you're not a small or a medium, they do come in larger sizes and they do come in different colors if you don't like like the white or the black or the yellow. There's always a wide variety on walmart.com. I don't know what it's like in the store. I haven't been to the store in a long time. I don't like going in the store anymore, but online they had a huge selection. Oh, this one comes with a extra button, I guess for the front. Oh yeah, there's buttons. I'm excited for this one. Okay, so this one's actually one that I think I'm going to pass on. I think it would look better on a different body type or maybe I would look better in a medium, not a small. This is tight around the stomach area, so you can see more of my stomach, which will make me self-conscious every time I wear it. I will not, I will be thinking about that every single time. So this is one that I'm going to pass on, but I think a bigger size would be perfect. So I might go and buy the next size up. Just this one is a little too tight for me. Let's try on this next black one. So far, all of these have been a size small. And I could have sworn I picked up one size medium to see how it would fit. Maybe it's the last one that's a medium. But we're going to try on this black one next. Okay, so this black one is also going to be a pass for me. Way too tight around the gut area again, which is weird because it's kind of like a flowy material. Like it, you see what I mean? Like it's high. So maybe, I would say maybe if I tied it looser. Oh, it's a fake tie. It's not even a real tie. It's a fake tie. I was going to say maybe if I tied it a little bit looser, I wouldn't feel so self-conscious about my gut, but I definitely feel self-conscious about my gut in this, so I probably will always, every time I wear it. Again, maybe this is like the yellow one. If I bought a size up, I would feel more comfortable in it, so I might do that. Since these dresses are rather cheap, it is nice so then you could go exchange or buy another one if you like. You're not spending $30 or anything like that. Again, these were less than $13 a piece. I do like the top. I like the print. I just, I'm not a big fan of the gut area. Okay, so we're two for two. We only have one dress left to see anything. Now, I will say the two that I, I am keeping, I really do love. So I don't feel like this was a complete miss. And I probably will pick up that yellow one in a medium instead of a small. So I don't feel like this was a complete miss. I do feel like I got some nicer dresses. And definitely stuff, oh, this is the medium. And definitely um, stuff I can wear this summer and this spring. So here goes the medium. Now that I'm looking at it, I think the medium might be way too big. The small might be too small, but the medium looks like it's going to be really big but let's try it on and see i don't know if i told you guys but the yellow one also had a padded top which again i appreciate that they're doing that not every single one did but that one did so this one is a little large on me it's hanging pretty far down in the front because it is large but i actually like the way is this the same as this is the same as the daisy dress 
Okay, this is the same. This is the same as this dress, just a different print. So now I know what a small and a medium looks like. Um, I don't hate the medium. I like the medium way better than I like the small in this style completely. I just think the medium may be a little bit too big or maybe that's just in my head. So this one also has a padded top. It has a little peekaboo thing or whatever you call it. And the buttons going down the front. I do like it. I will keep this medium. All spring and all summer, I pretty much spend my time outside gardening. So I need stuff that I can do housework in, school and garden all in the same day. I do feel like this dress might work with some shorts or something on underneath. The only other thing that, um, I'm just holding the tag out because it itches. The only other thing that I will definitely need to pick up is shoes because I don't have shoes at all. I've been wearing slides, uh, flip flops that I got for my kids years ago that they outgrew, so then I start to wear them and they are getting funky, they're getting pretty bad. So I will need shoes or something to go, sandals, something to go along with these dresses. We will see what I can find. But overall, for less than $13 per dress, I feel like these dresses are totally worth it. If you don't wanna buy them and then return them, definitely try them on in stores. If they're actually in stores, I don't know. So coming in first is definitely this dress. I love this dress. I love everything about this dress. I would buy this dress in different colors and just have it. I absolutely love this dress. So this is my, I said nine out of 10, but looking at all these dresses, this would be my 10 out of 10. Coming in second is this black one with the little rod in front, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what it's called, but this is my second one. Probably would still rate it at eight out of 10, but I do love it. Coming in third is probably the dress that I have on, the medium. I still don't feel like I'm the medium. I don't think I'm tall enough to be a medium, but I think it is looser in the gut area and I do like that. And I would probably rate this one like a six out of 10. And then coming in fourth, right? Yeah, fourth would be this one. I do like it. I think a size medium like this one would be better for me, but I do like it. I'm hesitant to rate this one until I actually have a size that fits me, the correct size. I do love the pattern though. I love everything about it. I feel like it screams spring and summer. And then last, my five out of five. I really just did not like anything about this dress. I don't, I don't know why. Is this black one I'm trying to on inside out it. This is my dress five out of five, the fifth one. Um, and I, I would rate this like a three out of 10. I really just don't like anything about it. And I, I don't know why, cause I think it's such a cute dress. I just, not for me. So we are keeping three out of five of the dresses. This one I will buy in a larger size and see how I like that one better. Um, so it really wasn't a total fail. We're keeping most of the dresses. And these two dresses I will donate to our local thrift store. Our thrift store sells things and then takes the money and helps out like feeding kids and the homeless. So I never hesitate on bringing brand new items there because I know whatever money they make from these things, the money is going to a good place. Okay, so that was our try on haul for today. I did change to the dress that I like the best because I probably will wear it for the rest of the day. I'm not really worried about washing it first since it came protected in plastic and then also in the packaging that it came. So I hope that if you guys are looking for dresses, you go check them out. I don't have affiliate code. They didn't ask me to do this. I bought all these dresses myself, but I did see the price was rather cheap. So I wanted to try them on and see how well they are, how well they're made and they feel very well made. So I hope you go check them out. Again, the brand is No Boundaries and they are not paying me to say this. I don't feel like they ever would pay me to say this, but I do like them. So I hope that you guys have a good morning, afternoon or evening and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.